Welcome to the uh, weekend workshop. Uh, we're just going to show you how to convert a stick welder with a lift TIG function into a TIG welder. Stick welders are great for jobs around the, uh, the workshop or uh, whatever, but the limitation with the stick welder is the minimum thickness of material you can weld. Anything less than two millimeter thick, you will start to struggle with burn throughs if you haven't got a good joint fit up uh, and such like things. So at that point, you want something that's a little bit less aggressive that you can uh, weld thinner materials. Um, and the basic solution to that is to convert your stick welder into a TIG welder. By doing this, uh, we use the function on the front panel here engage the lift TIG function and then we need some additional equipment. First up a bottle of pure argon that I've got here, a uh, regulator to fit on the bottle this reduces the bottle pressure down to a safe working pressure for us to use in our TIG welding application and then uh, we want a basic uh, TIG torch as we've got here this has uh, got a valve on it because this machine has no way of controlling the gas on or off. So I use the gas valve to switch the gas on and off. Uh, connections at the other end of the torch. You have a long gas hose which will go to the regulator as we, and then a DIN style connector which will connect into the connections on the front of the machine. So we're going to get that set up now and I'll show you how that works on this uh, stick welder here. So uh, now we're going to set up the front of the torch. We need a series of components. Uh, the first one is a collet body. These are sized against the size of tungsten you're using. We're going to use 1.6 at the moment, uh, which against the chart here uh, with uh, DC welding, uh, will be adequate for th this um, this size of the machine. So first of all, we we'll put in the collet body into the front of the torch. Front of the torch to the side with always the insulator on. Tighten that up. Uh, the tungsten, this has been sharpened already. You can use, sharpen it on an off-hand grinder. Make sure you sharpen it uh, so the grinding lines are running longitudinal not rotational it's easier to do rotational but you need it going longitudinal otherwise your arc will wander when you start welding so slide that through the collet like that the collet is the bit that's going to grip it and hold it in the torch insert it from the rear and then the back cap is the part that's going to clamp it into position just screw that in loosely so we've still got movement adjustment there. Then we've got a ceramic nozzle here. This is got, it's going to guide the gas out the front of the torch to protect the weld. Tighten that up against the insulator there. Now we can adjust the position of the tungsten. Just sort of five, six millimeters projection and then tighten up the back cap now, which will then grip everything tightly in place. It needs to be nice and snug because the power has got to be transferred to the tungsten so you don't want any uh, loose joints and also make sure everything's sealed so you don't get gas leaking out uh, in all different places. In terms of setting the gas, uh, depending on the complexity of your uh, regulator setup, the most basic ones will just show you litres per minute. Uh, a better setup would use a little flow meter with a bobbin in which gives you a little bit more ac accurate flow but uh, we can set that up manually and you want to be around about four or five litres a minute. Sounding like a little bit too much there. And effectively you should just be able to hear the gas coming out of the torch. It doesn't want to be blasting out the front of the torch because it will again blow your arc away. So we can switch that off and uh, we're ready to weld now. So we're just going to demonstrate the starting technique for lift TIG. You want to lay the torch on its side and in, this is going to be in slow motion but you want to do it in a nice quick smooth action. Lay it on its side, touch the tungsten down, bring it upright and then lift off and just lift off about two three millimeters and that will strike your arc and then you, you can start welding from there. 
So I'll just repeat that side vertical up, side vertical up to strike the arc. So we've uh, clamped a piece of metal in place, uh, got everything ready, switch on the gas. Always a good idea to remember to connect your earth clamp. So what we'll do is make a series of short welds just to tack everything together and then fill in between. I've got very good joint fit up in this area I hardly use any filler metal clamp now. Too much gas flow there. A uh, the mistake there was forgetting to switch on the gas. So. Better. So we've demonstrated there how you can convert your stick welder into a very basic TIG welder. Disadvantage of this process is you're switching the gas on and off manually. Uh, normally at the end of the TIG weld you want to leave the torch over the job to protect the weld material as it cools down. But in order to break the arc you have to lift the torch up away from the job so there's limitations about controlling post flow and gas coverage so it is a very basic uh, solution but it does allow you to thin weld thinner materials w using a stick welding machine great little tip um, if like me you have to wear reading glasses 
Uh, you may struggle when you, you're welding to, especially TIG welding, when you need to be uh, focused closely on uh, what's going on. You may struggle to see and you find you, the focal length of your uh, glasses don't really work with a welding helmet. A great little addition is one of these diopter lenses. Um, better quality welding helmets will have uh, little brackets on the inside that allow you to slide this diopter lens in and they come in different magnifications. This one is a times two, which for me, I find perfect. I can weld without having my spectacles on and have a really clear view of the, uh, the weld area. So really useful uh, device when you're welding and you don't have the problem with your glasses slipping down your nose and all that sort of thing going on.